guys, me Louise, and guess what? Today I'm so, so, so excited because Project MC Square have sent me all this cool science stuff. I'm so excited to review it. They sent me the UV nail maker and they've sent me the ultimate makeover bag and then they've sent me the ultimate lab kit. Project MC Square is on a mission, an important mission, to help advance girls in the area of STEM. Science, technology, engineering, art and math. They kindly sent me the other day to the Science Museum in London. Now I'm gonna tell you quickly a little bit about it. You guys, we finally arrived at the Science Museum. Let's go inside. The Science Museum is made of four different floors. There's space. Okay guys, we're going in the exploring space section now, guys. ancient lava flows. The lighter features composed of light coloured rock types. World War II, travel and vehicles. My favourite was on the very top floor. It was a place called the Wonder Lab. With over 50 mind blowing exhibitions. Wonder Lab is an experience not like any other! Spread across seven different zones, there's loads of opportunities to get your hands on some real scientific phenomena. Take part in live experiments at our chemistry bar. See lightning strike before your very eyes! Play with forces and giants like... That was fun. Travel through space under a canopy of stars. While we were there, I saw flowing mist in the matter zone. We went down the friction slides in the forces zone. Man, it was so fun! There was also a colour room in the light zone, lightning strikes in the electricity zone, and orbits in the space zone. There, there's four different live shows available every day, Flash Band Wallop, Live Wire, The Rocket Show, and Prime Time. We only got to see Flash Band Wallop, but I bet that all the other shows are amazing too. This one was all to do with how to make fire. How can explosions help us in everyday life? What makes things go bang? With the help of fire tornadoes and real explosions, they explained it all to me. It was great. Now guys, let's look at what we've got and choose which one to unbox. I think I'm going to unbox this one. The ultimate love kit. It's very sciencey. So we're going to move everything off the table. Right, let's get this all out of the box. It's all out of the box guys. Let's take a closer look at what we have here. It comes with a cool ring too. I'm wearing it because I like it so much. So guys, let's have a look at what I'm going to make. Oh, wow, this sounds cool. Oh, so does this one. First one is make a cloud in a jar. I'm going to be doing that one. For that, you need a hairspray. Got. You also need a jar with a lid. Got. Also you need ice cubes, got, and what you also need is an adult. You need boiling water, but we'll get that in a minute. So, what do I need to do? Ha ha, have an adult help you heat the water. Yes, and that's gonna help me in a minute. Fill the jar with a little bit of boiling water, okay. Then spritz some hairspray into the jar. Flip the lid over and put the ice cubes on top of the lid, so, yes. After a few minutes, lift the lid. Ooh. Let's do that, guys, now. Let's get the boiling water. Right, guys, I got my boiling water halfway in the jar. 
Now we need to spray some hairspray on the jar and put the lid upside down on it. That's enough. Now let's put the ice cubes on top. Oh, they're so cold. After a few minutes, lift the lid. I'll be back. Guys, look at the cloud, it's amazing! Whoa. Now it's gone! So, what just happened in that last experiment? The clouds formed because the boiling water created a lot of warm water vapour, which is caused by the ice, forming zillions of little water droplets, aka clouds! The hairspray gives the water molecules something to grab onto because they need to do that when they cool down. So now let's go on to my next experiment. So our next experiment is going to be crazy, crazy colours milk. You need food colouring. Got, I got a few of these. You then need milk. Got this. We then need a petri, petri. Petri dish, got one of these. You also need a pet. Got, we also need liquid dish soap. Got, so how do we do this experiment? I need to fill this so I can't actually see the table underneath. That's just about right. Next we're gonna put food colouring into the milk. Okay guys, so here I've put free food colouring in here. So I've got claret, I've got holly, and I've got tangerine. Now using my prepare, I'm gonna suck up some liquid soap. Now we just need to put a drop of it into the milk. <gasps> oh wow. Wow guys, doesn't that look so, so cool? So guys, you're probably thinking, like me, what just happened? Milk has a small amount of healthy fat in it. Soap loves to dissolve fat. That's why we use it when we clean our dishes. When we add the soap to the milk, the molecules danced around in the soap. As the soap started to gather up the fat molecules, the food colour gets dragged along and we see that lovely pattern and colour dance. So guys, firstly, I just want to say the Science Museum was so, so good. I so recommend you going there. And secondly, thank you to Project MC Square for sending me this and sending me there to the Science Museum. This experiments are so, so fun. So guys, I'm going to go off and I'm going to look through the book to see some more experiments. Cool. Anyway, guys, love you guys. See you soon. Bye.